What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Palace's second week drop list for the spring 2023 season. So if you guys haven't seen yet uh, there is a collaboration with Ramoa. We'll get into that at the end of the video but anyways if you guys are new to the channel if you could hit that like and subscribe it would help me out a lot and if we do by chance hit a thousand subscribers before March 26th I will be doing either a giveaway for a Supreme or a Palace item so make sure to tell a friend March 26th is approaching pretty quickly and we're not even halfway there yet but anyways getting into these pieces the first piece we have here is a puffer jacket and I really like this um, I'm not sure how much I love the camo one but there is a black one that I'm a huge fan of and then we also have a cream colorway as you guys can see here the palace logo and some of that piping is uh, reflective which is a nice touch and the hood is removable so that's another nice touch especially if you guys know me you know I really love the hoods on jackets Jackets, so I appreciate being able to attach a hood. I really like this like cream mish or tan colorway as well. I think it's really nice. Uh, I think I would actually maybe choose this over the black, but the black is super clean. So yeah, I thought this jacket was really cool. Uh, the camo one was my least favorite colorway, but I still think it looks pretty nice too. I think the camo was done pretty well. It's obviously a little bit of a darker camo, but I think it works pretty well here. But regardless, I think this jacket is done really nicely. I like the branding. I like the just the puffs. The thick puffs are very nice. And then yeah, just really everything about this jacket was really good in my opinion. Next we have the cycle knit. So I really like this one too. This isn't a style of jacket that I would think that I would like uh, the cycle style of jacket but I think the fact that they did it in a knit uh, brings a lot of life to this piece and I think it really makes the jacket that it is a knit it looks like it's gonna be a really nice material it looks like something your grandma would crochet almost but we've just got the palace branding there in the middle we've got some other details on the right and the left chest uh, it does look like the left chest has that palazzo logo with the P in the middle and then uh, it says Campion there, which I imagine is champion. I don't know. <laughs> Someone fill me in if you guys know. But uh, then we also have some scripture there on the right sleeve. I'm not sure what that says. Then on the back, it says Technica. But yeah, overall, I thought this piece was really solid. I like that baby blue color a lot. Uh, I like it more than this white and blue one, I think. But uh, both of these are really clean. And then the black, you can't really go wrong with the black. But I actually think uh, I like the blue ones a little bit more than the black in this situation. Very rare for me. But yeah, uh, overall, again, I thought this piece was really nice. Moving on, we have another face mask, uh, Sherling Thermal Hoodie. So uh, this is Sherling lined, so it's going to keep you very warm. You have the face mask, which is also going to keep you very warm in uh, cold situations if you guys live in really cold areas. I think these are great pieces for functionality as far as like dessert <laughs> design terms go uh, I don't love this colorway specifically I don't really mind the jacket itself or the hoodie it's pretty plain it just has the uh, triferg patch there on the left sleeve but uh, I don't like the uh, green in this orangish red mixed together I think uh, it just looks kind of awkward for these colors but here we have this like uh, golden yellow and with the black face mask. I think that works a lot better. Then we have this uh, brown and red one. I think these colors are a little too close together. I don't know. It looks really weird. I'm just not feeling the uh, like loud colored face mask. I think that's just a personal preference. Like this gray one is my favorite, which this was the first one I saw an image of too. But I think this one just is the cleanest. I think uh, the other colors kind of complicate things and cause some confusion that isn't necessary i think this one is just like straight to the point you get the functionality of the jacket you can wear this with whatever i keep calling it a jacket even though it's really a hoodie but you guys get what i'm saying and then we do have it in a navy blue as well i think the navy blue again is really clean because the face mask is a very neutral color so i think this one is gonna be pretty easy to wear and then the black is double black so it is obviously gonna be the easiest one to wear but yeah i thought these pieces were pretty cool um if i was someone who is outside a lot i could see myself getting one of these but given the nature of who i am and uh i'd never go outside when it's cold 
I will probably not be picking up one of these, but I do appreciate the functionality that they've thought about with the face mask built into the hoodies. I think those are really cool, and uh, it's something that I had never really seen until Palace's last season, so I definitely like those pieces, and hope they continue to innovate with the face masks inside the hoodies. Here we have the uh, Gore-Tex Infinimum Dog Ear 6 panel, so as you guys can see, this one is in a Realtree camo. Uh, it's got the big ear flaps. It looks like it's Sherling lined. Uh, we've got the P logo there in the middle of the hat, which uh, it's so dark. I wonder if that's reflective. Oh, I guess it's not reflective. I'm surprised that uh, the P isn't more white. I think it looks pretty grayish. Then on the uh, side of the hood, we also have a zipper, so you could probably store some stuff in there. I'm not sure what you'd put in there. But uh, then on the back, we also have the palace branding there. And this is coming in that real tree camo, a purple colorway, and then I think it's a white and then a black. Yep. So as you guys can tell here too, the uh, the Sherling lining changes on each one of the hats, so keep that in mind. Uh, or actually, they might all be gray. Am I tripping? Oh, okay, so the Sherling is the same exact on all the hats. I am tripping. Yeah, uh, these are all right. Not really something I would go out of my way to get. Uh, same with the next hat. I'm just not big on the ear flap hats, to be honest. Not really my thing. Uh, here we have the Paltex shell ear flap running in the crystallized blue colorway. We've got some piping going around the edge of the hat. I like that touch. Uh, then we have the Palace logo there in the middle. I like that uh, the camp cap style or whatever the style of hat is is a little bit unique. Uh, the stitching is definitely like an interesting shape. It's not something you see every day. So I appreciate that. Uh, I'm not familiar with Paltech or if that is just what Palace is calling certain tech wear that they have. So let me know down below if you guys have a better idea of what Paltech is, if it's like a new thing or if it's something that Palace has done for a while. I've only covered them for like a year. So I still have a lot to learn when it comes to Palace, the brand itself. But then on the back, we just have a normal strap enclosure and the ear flaps are adjustable as well. And uh, I think this is just coming in the blue and the black. Yeah, so we've only got two colorways on this. Again, not a piece I'm really hype about. Uh, I don't think a lot of people will be super hype, but I'm sure there is a market for these hats because uh, it seems like they've released a lot, so they must do pretty well. Here we have the Triferg patch beanie uh, in a duck camo colorway. The beanie itself is super simple, just got the Triferg patch on the beanie. I like this uh, duck camo, I think it looks pretty pleasant. Then we've got like a hot pink, a what they call a flexi blue. I don't really like the blue, I think the pink was pretty standout. Uh, then we have this mojito, I like this mojito colorway that they've ran with this year so far, I think it looks pretty nice. We have this tan colorway which will obviously go with pretty much anything. And then we have black, which literally does go with everything. So, yeah, I thought the colorways on these were pretty cool. Uh, I think the camo one is my favorite just because it's the most unique. But overall, if you need a beanie, I feel like these are going to come in pretty solid. And then, uh, like I said, the last items we have here are with Ramoa. So we have a uh, carry-on suitcase. So this is going to be pretty small. And the comment here says 500 plus for a carry-on LMAO. I don't think we've got any official prices on these, but I would definitely assume they're going to be over $500 knowing Ramoa's pricing. Ramoa can get super expensive uh, for their luggage, and I've thought about buying uh, their stuff in the past like for luggage, and I just can't bring myself to do it because it is so expensive. But they make really high quality stuff. It's metal. like This is probably going to last you for the rest of your life if you end up buying it. So uh, it is somewhat of an investment. Uh, which is funny to call luggage an investment, but it should last you forever and the artwork uh, I'm not too big of a fan of the artwork on these to be honest It's got this like desert psychedelic Egyptian type of artwork going on on the back and the front So we've just got the big triferg here on the front I actually like the front a little bit more than the back the back is like a little bit too third eye ish for me if that makes sense, but yeah, I don't know I'd rather just get a plain Ramoa or if I'm dropping that big of a bag, I would probably just like drop a bag on the Supreme Ramoa. It's funny, the only person I've ever seen with that in person was Steve Aoki at the airport last year. It was hilarious because I noticed him because of his bag. And then I looked up and I was like, bro, that's Steve Aoki. And he was on my flight. I should have said something to him, uh, but I didn't end up saying it. I didn't want to bother him. He had headphones on. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, the last piece we have here for this week is a Supreme, or I said Supreme, a Palace Ramoa skateboard. 
as you guys can see here it's got the little chain link design with the palace and then Ramoa branding worked into there and then we have a triferg in blue here at the bottom it's like that tiffany blue colorway i uh i know i talk about supreme and palace a lot but i do not skateboard so uh i will not be buying that and uh, i just feel like it'll be very expensive for what it is i'm not sure if the Ramoa collaboration will affect the price tag of a skateboard. I feel like that would be kind of weird if it did because it's probably just like a typical palace skateboard that they just printed on normally. But I would not be surprised if just because it has Ramoa attached to it that the price is a little bit higher. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, let me know down below what you guys are planning on picking up if you are planning on picking up anything. I know this week was a little bit smaller. So if we have any more news about stuff coming out, I will definitely be making posts about it, either like YouTube shorts or just on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, it's at Taylor Prentice, TGOD. I'll have a link to it down below in the description. But yeah, I thought it was nice that we had a smaller drop this week. Uh, the last two Palace videos I've had, we've had so many pieces to talk about that it's been kind of overwhelming. I feel like uh, this video, I was able to really give my opinion and break down each piece. So that was a nice feeling. Uh, it was, felt like a much slower video. I didn't feel nearly as rushed. So. I really enjoyed this uh, the pieces are all right I really like those first two pieces and then uh, everything after that was kind of like whatever I do think the face mask uh, Sherling thermal hoodie would be nice uh, in those colder times but I don't think it's like a must-have for me and if I don't feel like a piece is a must-have most of the time I just don't buy it because then I'll end up regretting buying it a lot of the times but anyways still a pretty solid week I thought and yeah I'm really excited for this palace season I think they've done a really good job uh, over the last couple seasons so yeah I'm got pretty high hopes but yeah that's pretty much it uh, I said but yeah like 40 times in the past like two minutes so I'm gonna get out of here and we will see you next time thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point